Hello, my name is Ned Gravel, and today we're going to talk about the new version of ISO IEC 17025. A number of experts in our field are going to talk to you about the specific requirements in this thing, and that's going to take place with other experts besides myself. First of all, let's just look at the forward. These are the main changes, uh, the most visible changes that are in the standard. There are many more changes than just these, but these are the ones that are considered most visible, and so they are considered uh, they have been put at the bottom of the forward itself. I'll just give you a moment to read the rest of this. Notice that it includes a definition of the word laboratory, and that's in Definitions Clause 3.6. First of all, let's talk about ISO 9001 compatibility. Uh, ISO 9001, as you know, is the standard for excellence. It was recently changed in 2015 and had a number of new revisions put to it. So our standard, when we went back to the working group to develop a new version, implemented some of these requirements from 9001. Uh, here you can see the agreement that exists between the ISO, IAF, and ILAC on the equivalence of the two standards. 